Hi, you guys. My name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, if you are new here, I'm Brittany. I am a homeschooling mom to three girls, ages 10, four, and two. And you guys, today I'm gonna to share with you my homeschool summer day in a life. You guys, we have been really enjoying like these summers, these like laid back days. And um, I really have been enjoying this relaxed approach to homeschooling and to home learning. Morning. So for the most part in the mornings, you guys, um, it's just our typical routine that we do throughout the school year. I get breakfast together for uh, me and for the kiddos and also for my husband too. He's still working from home, you guys. So I'm still blessed to still have him here with me. He comes upstairs every now and then to help me out with the kiddos as much as he can too. But um, I have Brielle in the kitchen, you guys, with me a lot. She has really been enjoying like cooking and um, it's just so crazy how her skills have grown with her being in the kitchen with me uh, for over a year. But um, since we are having these more relaxed days, I'm finding myself making like a real big breakfasts for us uh, just so we can really enjoy like our morning and our Bible time together. Um, and our bellies definitely stay full longer throughout the day because we are making like bigger breakfasts and stuff like that. So um, yeah, so this is just uh, what we do getting ready for breakfast in our Bible time. Try it. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Psalm 17 verse. Hey, good job. So you guys, during Bible time, I do a lot of our scripture memory work with my younger daughters. Um, and I also do uh, Brielle's devotion. Uh, we do poetry and we also do our character matters cards. So um, we really enjoy like our morning Bible time together. I kept a lot of these clips in here because I just wanted to show you guys how chaotic my Bible time still gets. My younger ones, they kind of like come and go throughout the Bible time. And I just let them because at the end of the day you guys my younger ones they are four and two and uh anytime that i can get them to uh listen i just do my best and i try to keep on going uh this is just like how my mornings go and how they flow especially with uh younger ones but you will be surprised how much they do listen um they do enjoy all of the songs and all of the things that we are doing with a gentle and classical preschool Okay, you guys, breakfast time is over and I have a little bit of like mess to clean right here from breakfast. Um, while the girls are playing or Brielle's really entertaining my younger two, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it up real quick. Typically, Brewery helps me out a lot, but um, I like when she's playing with them because it really like distracts them while I'm able to do a couple of things. So I'm gonna clean off the table and I am also going to go ahead and check um, Bri Bri's uh, math. She already did her math early this morning. She actually was up before me doing her math because she kind of likes to get it over with. So I'm gonna check and see if there's any problems we need to go over and um, then we are gonna kind of like proceed with our summer homeschooling day. Before I put all of the Bible stuff away back on the cart, I kind of want to show you in detail what I just did with the kiddos. So this right here is a gentle and classical um, preschool and um, here, I'm gonna show you the front. Yeah, so this is a gentle and classical preschool and for this unit, we are talking about the letter C. So um, this right here is the big thoughts for uh, little people where we talked about C is for crying, it hurts when you fall, has a memory verse, and these are like the pictures you ask the kiddos about, uh, what's going on in the picture. Um, here is all of those um, cards that I was singing with the kids, how can I glorify God. This is their nursery rhyme for the week. 
this is their uh, little math that they're supposed to be doing. And this is our memory verse um, that you heard us singing, Hide Me Under the Shadows of Your Wings. We also have been going over some personal information with Leia. So she's learning her country and the state she lives in. And this right here is the manners card. I give more than I take. This is the poetry book I read out of for the little ones. And then I also read a story out of our Tiny Truth Illustrated Bible. So this week, our book we're supposed to be reading a few times this week is If You Give a Mouse a Cookie for the letter C. So that is everything for their gentle and classical preschool. I also have preschool math at home in her preschool morning binder. I'm going to try to do a couple activities with Leia today so you can kind of see uh, the rest of the program. But for the rest of it, I have done pretty much everything on here except for like the art and the music is the only things that I don't do on here. But um, yeah, they really have been enjoying this one. Sorry about the background noise again. Now, Brielle, we read the three minute devotional for girls. And then we also did our character matters card right here. Uh, where we uh, talked about love. And then she read her um, poem from Sing a Song of Seasons. I hope you guys can hear me and it's not too loud in the background. But um, yeah, this is everything we did for Bible before I put it away, just in case you guys have any questions. Okay, you guys, Brielle, she actually just finished lesson 79 in Saxton. So the only part I have to do with her right now is the mental math. She did really, really good with this lesson practice. She only missed one, two, three, and she really didn't miss this. She just didn't remember to solve this one. So she really only missed four problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over those problems with her make sure she understands them, and then she is done for today. So in Saxon, all she does is the lesson practice, and then she does evens or odds for her uh, mixed practice. So she's doing really, really well with this, and um, yeah, she's doing great. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this done with her because I know math is not her favorite part of the day. So um, she can work on some vocabulary for today. Come on, Brie, let's I'll go over it real quick. You did really, really good, okay? Come on. Okay, we're gonna um we're gonna just do your uh, mental math first, okay? So we're just gonna get it. Okay, you guys, I kept this clip in my video for two reasons. Not to embarrass my daughter, but to show you guys that your kiddos are not going to enjoy all subjects. And for me and my household, it's math. Math is definitely the subject that I know we have to work on. And we just take our time and we just uh, hit on little tidbits each and every day. And I try my best to show up for my daughter when it comes to math to really try to encourage her and to let her know that she is progressing and that she is doing a really, really good job. Um, I don't want to see her fall through the cracks when it comes to this subject so I just work diligently with her and whatever tactics that I need to uh, do we just do them and we just take it one step at a time we've been continuing doing Saxon throughout the summer and I'm so happy we have because seeing her progression and her growth in math has been amazing okay Brie good job on math give me five bam all right great job great job Wait, close you want to close it up okay go ahead you can close it all up <laughs> you're done <laughs> Good job, Brie. Good job. All right, this goes upstairs. Okay, go ahead. You can take it upstairs. 
Okay, you guys, Brie Brie is done, and I think I might try to work a little bit more with Leia today. This right here is her preschool morning binder that goes with the Gentle and Classical Preschool where we go over like the weather, days of the week, months of the year. She does her shapes, and then she also does like her letter of the week that we have been doing, which is C. This is her preschool map at home, and right now we are at the end of um, – chapter two so we are right here we are working on um five we're working on counting with dot stickers and i already have like my dot stickers in here ready to go for her as we're counting to 10. and then this is like her beginning phonics that we have been working on from this elemental phonics by jda and we've been working just on these two letter blends so I have her magnets because she kind of likes doing it this way instead of doing it from the paper. And she's almost mastered this and we can go on to our next two letter blend. So she's been doing much, much better with this. And this program is so simple to do with her. Um, but like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna get her to, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get her to do this with me, but this is typically what we do with Leia along with her gentle and classical preschool about three times a week. And then she's pretty much uh, done. She just plays around and, you know, be a kid because she's only four. So Leia, Leia, you wanna come do some school with mommy? Okay. You wanna do school? Come on, let's do some school. Let's. You want to try? Okay. Hey, what is the weather like today? It's sunny and rainy. Oh, it's actually sunny outside, so you can go ahead and circle the sunny. Good job. So, Leia, what season is it? You remember, it's summer. Mommy, it is. It's snowy. It's Rainbowy. Yes, but it's summer. It's summer. Good job. It's summer. It's Sunday, Sunday and it's Monday. Monday. It's Tuesday and it's Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Thursday and it's Friday. And then Wednesday. it's Saturday. Days of the week. Today is Thursday. Can you circle Thursday for mommy? Thursday. Yeah, it is Thursday. And guess what month it is? It is July. Can you find July for mommy? It's July. No, this one right here is July. 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 Great job. July. Mommy, good figure. Which one do you want to do? You want to do circle or you want to do the letter C? Yeah, yeah, C. The letter C. You're going to make the C? Up and down. Good job. It's just one curve. That's how we make C. What sound does C say? Good job. K -k Car. Car. Good job. <laughs> Okay, you guys, like that is really the extent of learning when it comes to my younger two. Their attention span is really short, but 
you will be amazed at how much they retain just by you working with them for little bursts of time. So Leia wasn't really feeling doing like her preschool math at home, so I just don't push it. And if ever I have an organic opportunity to work on her counting one to 10, whether it be like with her uh, toys or things like that, I will do it throughout the day. But other than that, like I really keep it low key. And she has learned so much by this like hands-on math, all of these like hands-on learning that I'm doing with her. Um, so uh, yeah, and then as you guys seen Brie working with Alana, she typically works with Alana on some uh, simple phonics, simple letter sounds um, while I'm working with Leia. So I can kind of kill two birds at one stone. So like Brie Brie is a big help. So thank you, Brie Brie. <laughs> so yeah, so she's a big help. So right now we're going to, what you want to say? You want to say hi, say hi. Yeah, they, they see you fishy. So right now I'm going to do like a little bit of reading with the kiddos and then we're going to go outside, have some fun. And that's pretty much sums up like our uh, homeschool day because I really keep it simple. It's summertime, you guys, and I still want the kiddos to have like a lot of fun. So, yeah. OK, you guys, we went to the library the other day and we picked out some books. So I'm going to show you guys what books we picked out and then I'm going to have Ruby show you her book she picked out, but I picked out this book called Dear Reader, A Love Letter to Libraries. Brielle picked out this book, which is Eyes That Speak to the Stars. This is like um, another book that goes with the eyes that kiss the corner because she really, really enjoyed that one. I have A Blaze Colors with Alma Thomas. This is actually um, one that we're gonna be using for our artist unit that's coming up. And when I seen it, I was like, okay, I definitely have to get this one. I have red shoes for my younger two. I have tomatoes for Neela. Tomatoes for Neela, I checked out. I have Mary had a little glam and I have fancy Nancy. This is a uh, baby bear, baby bear, what do you see? And animals should definitely not wear clothing. So this is everything that's in my book basket. So we're gonna read a couple of picture books with the kiddos and then I'm gonna go ahead and let them have some fun in the water. So uh, yeah, what you check that from the library? I got Omar Rising, which is the book that goes with the Mall Unbound. Yeah, cause you finished Amala Unbound. And then what else do you have? Then I got Zoe in Wonderland. Zoe in Wonderland, let me see, can I see it? I want Zoe. And we have Zoe in Wonderland. So this one looks like it's going to be such a good uh, story. So um, I'm excited for her to read this one. And I'm happy our library had this. Hopefully you can kind of see it with the uh, glare. So yeah. And as you guys can see, the kids are still playing. So I'm not too sure how much they're going to actually listen. But I'm going to sit here and do some uh, reading with Bree Bree. So yeah. stories just like you mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's your girl <laughs> you guys this was such a cute book uh, about a little girl in the library and she couldn't find any books that represented her so what she did was she began to create stories of her own and she added her stories to the books of the library uh, this I was so <laughs> this was so cute this is definitely one that speaks to Brie Brie because you, if you guys are not new here to this channel you know how much Brielle loves um, creative writing so this was a great find that I found at the library and this was a newer uh, published one um, that they had so uh, yeah I really enjoyed this one right here with uh, Brie Brie You guys, this summer, we didn't have any big trips or any big vacations planned. We really just had to be content with this relaxed summer at home. We really have been adventuring through picture books and through stories and we have just been taking it easy. And if you guys are in a season like me where a family, a big family vacation or anything like that is not really on the tables for you this summer, just really try your best to enjoy what you have. 
enjoy going to the park and enjoy going to the pool at your local community. That's just really what I have been doing. We've been taking plenty of trips to the library and just adventuring in our own community. I know not all of our summers are gonna look like this where we're not able to go on a big vacation. But one thing I will say, I know my kiddos, they're gonna remember these summer days. They're gonna remember the time that I spent with them and the books that we've read and all the things that we did and explored. And um, I need to be content with knowing that I'm doing the best that I can in this season that we're in. And um, I hope they have really, really good memories of their summer uh, just at home with uh, mom. Okay, you guys, I have my two younger ones taking a nap. Brielle, she is practicing the piano. And um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end our homeschool day in a life uh, right here. Um, but for the most part, other than this, um, in the afternoons, my kids, they have like technology time and um, we're just like really laid back. You guys, I really have been enjoying like these laid back summers. Um, as much as I wanna be like hustle and bustle and exploring and doing things like that, it's something special about these uh, relaxed days just at home um and it's really nostalgic because it's reminded me a lot of my summers uh growing up so um yeah um i hope you guys enjoy watching our day in a life a couple of things before i end this video i made a video recently talking about like all the changes that i'm going to be making as far as like my homeschool some of my curriculum choices and in that video i received so many questions about um iew and also about um, beautiful feet, if I'm still gonna be doing these two. I'm definitely going to be doing both of these curriculums this homeschooling year. As far as everything else that I didn't show, I'm really not too sure, you guys. I'm really like taking this homeschooling year like quarter by quarter. And I definitely will update you guys along the way as we are like flowing into like our quarters. We're gonna be doing like a six week on, one week off school year. And right now our tentative start date is going to be, I have it right here on my calendar. <laughs> We are planning to start our school year on July the 18th. So I have a couple of more weeks and um, we're gonna be starting back up pretty, pretty soon. I have everything ready. It's a couple of more books that I need to check out for the library for us um, as we're starting off our um, first quarter and I need to go back to school shopping. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take you guys along with me when I go back to school shopping for like all of our school supplies. But other than that, I have everything all prepared on uh, Brielle's homeschool cart and um, we're like ready ready to go so um yeah another thing too you guys thank you so much for 7,000 subscribers as like I'm sitting here about to start editing this video I seen that I just reached 7,000 subscribers and I want to thank everybody so much for um supporting my uh, small YouTube channel for subscribing um I really hope you will stick along with me as I'm showing and I'm sharing all of the ups and downs in my like homeschooling journey um on my channel you guys I just want to let you know that I do post post every Wednesday and I'm going to consistently post every Wednesday. I upload Wednesday at 11 a.m. and I'm going to try my best to continuously uh, post on Wednesdays at 11 a.m. for my uh, upload time and you will see a few changes on my channel because I definitely want to bring you guys more inside of my homeschool. I want to film more Dana lives, more videos like this so you can kind of just like really see um, how my homeschooling days go. I'm going to try to post at least one Dana 
life each month or each quarter so I can really have something to look back at as well so when I do make like my homeschooling update videos you kind of will have like a video to like uh, compare that quarter to as well and that's like one of my goals let me guys or let me know you guys if you do want to see like more day in the lives more like um, behind the scenes type of videos uh, other than like my regular sit down videos. So <laughs> I know that was a lot, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.